writing with a red pen in Japan is only to invite people to death, a, a funeral, a, a sad situation. Writing with a red pen in India, it is only for shub situations where it's to invite them to marriage ceremony. So it's a ceremony rather than something that, that causes sadness. And yet the red pen is just a red pen. So the context is different. And the more context we create or that we are exposed to, the more we realize that there is the other out there. And I think that the conversation of the other, given that we are in, at the moment, the largest awakening in terms of race relationship or the relationship of Black Lives Matter at the moment for all of us, it's really interesting because these perspectives are our perspectives they're not their perspectives they become ours too so the bridge between the other and myself becomes much more of a wider scape that it becomes mine too it becomes my space and so broadening out the the 10 kilometers squared of my father to the globe where i've been gallivanting around has really developed this concept in my head about what does it mean to be really global when if you're only reinforcing the behaviors that you know and not being exposed and open to that, the behaviors of others. So Eastern philosophies or how do they do things in Singapore? How do they do things in animism? That curiosity wouldn't come unless if you were immersed in the environment or in conversation with people from there. So the more exposure we get, this is a TV program that we used to watch when we were kids in the UK was Little House on the Prairie. And it was this little house on the prairie mentality, right? Like, yeah, she's going to marry a guy, like she's going to marry the guy down the road, like the down the hill, because that's who she knows. I mean, the time of digital connectedness to somebody on the other side of the planet. Yeah, slightly different. 